Hi everyone, Emily here from Emily's Visions. I'm having a bit of a rosacea flare up today on my face, but I thought, uh, go ahead, do a video anyway. Uh, spotty girls have opinions too. <laughs> so um, today I wanted to talk about um, a human tendency that I've seen, which uh, today I'll call destroy first, think about later. Uh, the the I, I I see this a lot in people that they 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 don't really th thinking about things does take time. It's true, and people in general are quite impatient, um, and they don't like to so they don't like to think about all the different options. In fact, actually, if they have to think of too many options, they think, oh, this is impossible. We can't we we can't possibly come up with a good answer. So we just have to accept whatever happens, which often is something that you know later on they go, oh, hadn't considered that. Anyhow. Um, the story of this comes from a uh, tree uh, near, near me. Um, oh, well, I, and when I, when I, when my epilepsy was, it's getting it's getting a little bit better, easily for me to manage. But when I earlier on, I used to I went through a phase where I was extremely anxious with my epilepsy, and I couldn't stand the sound of trees being cut down. I hate I hate the uh, trees are just so I love trees and and and. I can't hear it. and and even even the sound of the grass cutter would remind me of a tree being cut down and so summers were a little hard during that time um anyway um the tree that I'm talking about is an apple tree I love trees and I love apples so apple tree I love very much and um we it was on the grounds of a place that used to be owned by the local council and the the building that they were using shut down. It's not a very pretty building. It's a very modern building. I love old buildings, but it, this one was just you know a rectangle, and uh, it stood there for a while with a you know for sale sign, but nobody was doing anything about it. And during that time, I went to look in the grounds, and there was this huge apple tree. It was really old. Um, there obviously used to be a a garden that they planned out there and that they grew lots of different things and it was in disrepair but the apple tree it doesn't care about the human stuff falling apart it was there doing its thing year after year and so we would go and um, grab some of the apples there and it was huge they used to have um, like produce cookers that were like you know, as big as a man's fist really huge and um, a lot of food it's amazing how much food you can get I've got a second freezer for the apple season because uh, I went for a phase where I would make so much apple puree and it would fill up my freezer great but then there would be no room for you know pizza chips you know oh we need to eat now everyone needs to eat quick food there was no room so I got a second freezer because um, so I've got one that I can which is handy for other times of year, but mostly, normally, it's it's kind of full of apple puree and it gradually goes down until the season comes up and it fills up again suddenly. <sighs> anyway, um, it was a lovely tree and I loved it very much, uh, but um, their time came that they were going to do something with the building. And so they, you know, they closed it up so no one could get to it. And that, that was fine, that was a shame, but it was fine. But it still sat there for years. And so it was like, you know, a couple of years where we could have actually harvested it. Other people could have harvested from that apple tree. No one was really thinking about apple trees at all. And, and so we couldn't get to it. Nobody else could. And then they raised the whole garden. They cut it all down. Again, I was thinking maybe they're making room for something. You know, maybe they haven't done destroy first, think about it later. But no, the place hadn't yet had a plan. So they were raising it just so it would be easier to sell or something. I have no idea. But during that time, it just still sat there for at least a year or so. And, you know, the tree could have, you know, produced another harvest if it had been there. Moreover, I was thinking about it more. It would have provided things like um, nesting areas for birds and, you know, pollinating for the bees. So it's it's not just human food as well. So to just cut it down for no reason whatsoever. And then <laughs> I met the other day, um, they actually started to build on it, which is great. I'm really, I really approve people reusing brownfield sites. I've, there's been quite a few fields that have been covered in houses recently. And it, for, for various reasons, that's a bit sad, you know. But um, so, so I, I asked her, oh, you know, where, 
can I see the plan, you know, what's it for, it's going to be residential flats. So I looked at the plan and they're not building on that area at all. Well, and what are they building? They're building residential flats. Of all the people who live in that place, they could have eaten those apples. That would have been an asset to them. So I, I just want to, having a bit of a rant really, but because I see this tendency, when I see people doing this, I try not to sort of allocate blame. What I try to do cause, is see myself as a human and think, in in what areas am I doing that? And I, I find often I find often that I can destroy things and think about it later in arguments <laughs> when they get angry about something. Uh, I can be a bit like, oh, I just want to make a firm point here, and regardless of how you know I really want the long term things. Uh, and sometimes because I'm so desperate in that situation to prove my point, to raise the ground so that it's easy for me to use. Um, I I assume that the other person is on the opposite tact. I think I've spoken about this before in my YouTube videos, and then that's quite funny because sometimes I've discovered that they're not actually that extreme. Maybe they do feel that way a little, but not too much. So I think destroy first and think about it later is something that human beings do a fair amount. Um, and I'm keeping an eye on it. Uh, I've even noticed that I can destroy things even you know, not in a bad way, you know, I think I'm doing something good, like, I think we've all had a situation where maybe, like, maybe a friend is trying something and they're a bit shy about it, you know, and we can actually give them a compliment, but we can over compliment them when they're not actually, not actually feeling that confident, and then, and, it, and they just, they just kind of run to the shadows, you know, uh, from creatively, they're thinking, oh no, I wasn't making something so important, so, so yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. And um, also, um, so so yeah, I'm going to um, share, um, so please subscribe, I'm continuing to um, put out videos on lots of different things that I do. Um, also, um, I'm going to put on Patreon, for my Patreons, I'm going to put um, a bit of a thread about, um, about different trees around uh, my my area and their story. I've got some pictures and things. So that will be on the Patreon for my sentient Patreons. Um, they will be able to see those and read the descriptions. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening today and um, I hope you're all well and uh, speak to you soon.